Hi there, in this video we'll have a look on how to simulate uh, waves in ANSYS Fluent. Uh, now in Fluent we have the option to uh, define our wave profile and have them periodically uh, injected through an inlet as shown in this video here. So let's have a look, I have a problem set up here and uh, we can go on various steps you have to take in order to uh, run a wave model. So First, I'm uh, using a transient solver here with my gravity defined. Uh, my geometry is very simple. It's a, uh, it's a rectangular box uh, with an inlet and an outlet. Uh, so first things is model. Now, if you, you have to define your multiphase model. So under model, I have volume of fluid uh, option selected here. And under sub models, I have open channel and open channel wave boundary condition. Uh, and I also have implicit body forces engaged. Now under phases, uh, I have my phase one as air and phase two as water. After that's done, we move on to boundary condition. Now in boundary condition, first things uh, first thing is velocity inlet. Now for a velocity inlet, once you go in there and uh, once you select open channel wave boundary condition. Uh, you have an option to define an average flow velocity, but the important bit here is this multi-phase option that gets enabled. Once you go in there, you have uh, an option to uh, describe your waves. So for wave boundary conditions, I've selected none. And free surface level, I have this uh, uh, profile data inserted in. Now, the way I did that is I went to Excel and I created a wave profile as seen here. I've plotted it. And you can create a text file describing that wave profile. Now, the format for this text file is available in Fluent Users Guide under tabulated profile data. So, uh, as you can see, it's it's a simple uh, information about time and uh, the wave profile. Now, this one here uh, shows that this is periodic, so Fluent will keep injecting in the wave again and again. Right, so, so the way to insert profile into Fluent is we go on physics and we select profile from under zones. Here you can, here you can read your data and once you've read it, uh, Fluent uh, displays the name and it also uh, uh, displays the fields present in your text file. Like you click apply and now once you go back to your velocity inlet, uh, we'll have an option to select UDF profile data uh, under free surface level. Now, once I've described my velocity inlet, I'll go on to my outlet. For the outlet, uh, I need to describe my free surface level, which would be the level of water before it's been disturbed by waves, and a bottom level, which is again, the bottom level of the water. Once I've described that, uh, my other boundary conditions are the usual, so symmetry and wall. Uh, now, the next step here is to initialize and patch um, the fluid volume. So you can initialize, and once you've initialized, you go on to patch. Now, before we patch, we need to define a region where we would like to patch it. So that thing is done in cell register, so we go here, new region. And you can input in your coordinates of the region you want to patch. Now I've already described the region here, so I can go on here and save display. So as you can see, it's uh, it's this region right here. So if we can, right, so I can display the mesh back again. So, um, so the region is, uh, so that, that region there. So I'll patch this region as water. So the way I do that is uh, I initialize and then go and patch. And once you do that, you uh, there's this uh, box that opens up. Now under phase, I can select phase two, which is water in this case. Um, and I'll select volume fraction or value of one uh, in the region I created. Once you've patched that, uh, we can go on and run our calculation with a small enough time step size. 
so I've already run the calculation and I have some results here so let's run the animation to have a look at my results so at the beginning this is when I patched the volume as you can see uh, there's water here and air there now once I run the simulation we'll see uh, the wave profile that I defined coming in through the inlet Okay, so that's one wave has come in and now the second wave is coming in and this will just keep on uh, you know Fluent will just keep on inserting new waves uh, for as long as you run simulation uh, so that was a very quick video on how to uh, how to simulate waves in Fluent thank you for listening